there's a story of a legendary Eureka site whose journey around the body was full of flight. He was only 8 micrometers in diameter, but he circumnavigated the body's perimeter. The protagonist went by the name of Big Barry. He had just been dumped by his girlfriend, Sherry. She was sick and tired of his foolishness, which was understandable since neither had a nucleus. At this point in time, Barry's choices were narrow, but he was a proud red blood cell who grew up in the marrow. He figured if he left, then Sherry would miss him, so he took a journey around the circulatory system. Before he left, he took his iron and his hemoglobin, a blood protein that let him carry oxygen. He left with a smile, for this was the day that he would experience Sicily and pumped away. Right atrium, right, right, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries, left and right lung, gas exchange, pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, and around again. Right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries, left and right lung, gas exchange, pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, and around again. Up the aorta, the body's main artery, taking Barry away from the heart at a high velocity. The muscular tissue is extremely elastic, triple layered balls, and all three are fantastic. He reached the aortic arch and had to make a decision to go through the left or right carotid or subclavian. The moment came, but Big Barry was too tardy. He ended up flowing to the lower body. When he reached the liver through the hepatic artery, it branched off into arterioles which were basically smaller, thinner, lower pressure mini-means that direct blood flow into capillaries. Now, capillaries are only one cell thick, but that doesn't mean they can't do the trick. Their high surface area is perfect for exchange of nutrients and gases and ammonia waste. Right, right atrium, right, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries, left and right lung, gas exchange, pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, and around again. Barry was now deoxygenated, which meant his bright red collar was now faded. He was still biconcave though, the shape of a granule, as he left the capillary beds and entered a venule. The hepatic vein was where he was headed, a three-layered blood vessel with valves embedded. Since the blood pressure in a vein is so low, you need those valves to prevent backflow. Don't think for a second that this is the end of the saga, because Barry's next stop was the inferior vein at Kaba, where plasma and form elements from every body part join together and enter the heart. Returning home was great for Big Barry. He was reunited with his sweetheart, Sherry. They embraced in a chorus of laughter, and together, they lived happily ever after. Right atrium, right, right, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary artery, left and right lung, gas exchange, pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, and around again. Right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, pulmonary arteries, left and right lung, gas exchange, pulmonary veins, left atrium, left ventricle, and around